Um, I think uh, Barclays has a history of sponsoring sports. I, I think we're well aware of uh, the Barclays Premier League, which we've sponsored for many years. Golf here is another one that we, we are very passionate about. And I think it brings, at a, at a fundamental level, um, the spirit of just honest competition. Yeah, you know, in a field where everybody comes together to compete in a friendly manner uh, towards a goal. Um, and, and I think for us, golf represents a big opportunity for us to do a number of things. One, to support a sport um, which can promote the country as well um, and what we have that's good and great about this country. It's a sport which can cover from very young players right the way through somebody's entire life. Um, I think it's got both amateurs and professionals. And it's a sport which we know many of our clients also love. Uh, you know, so it gives us a chance for us to really be close to our customers uh, and spend quality time with them outside of the office environment. So we're very passionate about it. Um, that's why you've seen the commitment um, to the support over the, you know, over the, over the last uh, seven plus years. Um, and we're looking forward to a continued commitment here because we feel it encompasses uh, all of those dynamics that really promote Kenya and give people an opportunity, uh, hopefully, to get into a sport that can even become their livelihood as we move forward. In the past, maybe people thought of sports as a fun thing to do. Yeah. But now we're seeing sports, whatever sport you get into, can become a source of your livelihood and as a, as a source of income. And there's other spin-off benefits like promoting the country, etc. So once you get things like tax benefits, it encourages corporates to invest more um, you know, within, within the different sports, like in this particular case, uh, golf is what we are, we are, we are backing. Um, I think what, what still needs to happen is there needs to be, uh, as the chairman has put it, there needs to be a long-term strategic uh, plan which is, which is underway, which then needs to be executed yeah, with corporates working with government, with their golfing bodies, yeah, to make sure we don't have scenarios where money becomes the thing which holds back golfers from getting opportunities to play abroad. Um, I think for me, the, the thing which will probably be more encouraging is being able to support youth to get into this sport. We have the, the, the greats like Jacob and the other professionals who are professionals today, but we really need to be having 50 or 100 of Jacobs playing, not just here, but playing all over the, all over the world. And I think government can help and clubs can help. For example, when we look at the number of public golf courses that there are in this country, there are not enough public golf courses. So how does somebody get to start to play golf? Where do they go? If you're not a member of a golf club, how do you start? Yeah. So uh, there may be a stage where the government can provide land, uh, can, can provide opportunities by the regions across the country to allow public golf courses so people can just pay and play. Um, I think also the golf clubs can, as you've indicated, uh, have either certain days or allow certain players who are up and coming through the system to be able to access these courses. Yeah. Because I think the more they play, the more they get coached, uh, the more they get exposure. I think we're going to start seeing Kenya like anything else. I mean, we have shown in other sports that people used to think were the preserve of other nations. We can come in. If you look at track and field, we were always thought of, of as being strong track athletes, not field events. Now we're coming into field events. Yeah? So I don't see why in golf we can't do it. And I think with, with these specific plans that the government is putting in place, corporates will be more encouraged. But I think for it also to work, sports in general um, has got to have the highest levels of governance. Yeah? Because corporates are also accountable for the money that they put into the sport. And we just don't want to get embroiled in other situations or things to do with the management of sports. And thankfully, golf is not falling into that, uh, that category because it just makes corporates shy away because what was started as an innocent uh, good, goodwill type of gesture suddenly embroils you into something which is not there. So I think we all have to hold ourselves accountable for the highest level of governance, and that will just encourage more investment in sports for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, we are excited as uh, Barclays to be uh, sponsoring this event. We want this event to be the best ever uh, you know, Barclays Kenya Open. 
um, I think to members of the media, let's promote this event. This is bigger than the event itself. This is about the country. This is about our sports people. Um, and we want to get many fans coming in and watching because I think it is, I've found every year it's been an exciting tournament. Yeah, you know, and I think the more that we can educate the public around the sport of golf, I think more people will actually find it something that they can possibly pick up. So again, really just to thank all our partners who are all ably represented here. We're looking forward to the, to the tournament and um, we're just counting down now to, to tee off.